Meow. A I'd man be, who rocks, I'd be petrified of that. A man who rocks up in them shoes, you know he can handle himself. You don't have to ask me to take over operations but yeah. here. It is such, it's such like an easy game to play if you don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Like the, the whole interactions and Twitter and social media, other than just buying it, if you really do not give a shit about people just seeing all the spam and everything, yep. yeah. The problem is though, like, it's a very fine balance. But um, I think I tweeted about it yesterday, so I date the video. So here's what Rage Shadow Legends pays people for a 60 second integration, and they offered me $2,000. They offered me two thousand dollars for a sixty-second integration, and I got a message from someone saying they offered me twice that, and I've got half your followers. Oh. Just thought I'd let you know in case you want to, like, you know, continue. Yeah. And what crapped me up the most about it is, um, they've messaged me three times, and I tell them to fuck off every time. So they raise the offer each time, and they've said, "Oh, you get full creative control this time. All we want you to do is play the game in the video and give your honest opinions on it." I sent a message back asking them, oh, but can I tell people how much you're paying me? Didn't hear back. <laughs> because the moment I do that, yeah. people are going to realise, oh shit, if they can afford to pay someone two grand for 60 seconds, what else? Also, other YouTubers aren't going to like that. Yeah, so they'll complain. Exactly. But now my audience knows I've been paid two grand for 60 and seconds. And also, a lot of those YouTubers will, pro what, have multiple times the followers or subscribers or whatever as you do. Yeah. And so probably it. earning multiple times the money. And then go, Guys, I really need your support on, on my Patreon. Patreon. I'm earning six grand a week. Because I pointed out that our YouTube videos on the Fact Fiend channel, they earn about two to three hundred pounds mm. per video, which sounds like a lot, and it is. Like, you know, but in the grand scheme of things, like when you compare it to, oh, if I just add a 60 second ad in there, I would get two grand extra. I would quadruple the amount of money and that I And also bear in mind that you pay like, your editor's like nearly half of the money that you yes. get a lot off a lot of the videos uh, and stuff. Every editor gets like £120 per yeah. video, plus a bonus based on performance of videos. So yeah, I lose, I make less money on videos than my editors do, but because I own the channel, I make... Uh, yeah, tight, yeah. And I have to run the business and put all the money to that. But yeah, I could just take one ad and then basically earn the money that I earn in a month, in a week. Or in one day. So that's the thing is, like, I could... Like, you know, theoretically, if I was in your position, I could take one sponsor like a month and live off that. Yeah. Like I could take that two grand <laughs> from one 60 second integration on one video. And live for a month. And live for a month. And then you've got YouTubers saying, but I need Patreon. Also, why is YouTube demonetizing my videos? I'm making no money. <laughs> also, I only put out three videos a week and each one's got a sponsor. So we can go back in here whenever the fuck we want. But um, let's just walk around for a bit because I'm pretty sure. Yes. Do you notice something, Lucas? The, the side quests? No, who's that? Do you recognise her? Uh, no. Well, let's talk to her. Oh yeah, very recognise the, the woman. It's the mother of the girl with the dolls. Oh, okay. So do you know, like Kiryu has the thing of you help people and they like join your business? Yeah. She joins your business. So Thank you so much for helping my daughter. I came She's back not going to become like a, a cabaret girl, is she? She does, yeah, but you can't change her outfit and it's really funny to me. <laughs> I feel like that's quite a depressing story. It's not, because you pay a fucking shit ton of money. I mean, that's true. She gets paid a shit ton of money to do a really easy job. <laughs> and not what daddy's doing today. Yeah, I love it. I'll say, do you want to do the talking for this one, Lucas? I'll just keep talking over it. And uh, she gets paid a shit ton of money, not to mention, what better manager could she have than Majima? Oh, yeah, of course. She's going to yeah. get no fucking trouble from anybody. Now she's called Doll Girl's mother. Well, look at that. So he's like, I've got a loan to pay off. There you go, look. Come work for me, right. you'll earn a shit ton of money. Are you sure? A woman like me? No doubt. Pretty lady like you, get paid down with that loan. A little extra to cover some new dolls. Look at that. Dolly. Like that. Right. So you I'm really yeah. confused. So, not only do we not know the name of this little girl, she's just Doll Girl. Now we've just called her mum Dolly. Well, that's the thing, though, isn't it? What really gets me, though, is because she looks so sad in the picture they use, but she's smiling there. Yeah. Like, she looks like she doesn't want to be there, and it makes me feel <laughs> uncomfortable. But you know how the side story is. Like, she's getting paid a shit ton of money and paying off this horrible debt. Yeah, yeah. And Maggie was like, I'm going to look after you. I'm going to make sure you get... And I always, always make sure she gets tips. Do you know it says, like, what do you do at the end? Give the customers... No, fuck off. Give her a gift. <laughs> Take it own. I actually imagine he gives her another one of those little dolls. Yeah, just like, he's got hundreds of crane, crane game little, uh, dolls. Got a lot of trouble, thanks to you. So it's Erin Coon. I recognise this woman. It's Erin Coon. Do you know the, boy, the, girl, um, the girl who's trying to impress? Oh my gosh, she looks like she's so fucking stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's taking screenshots. 
There's a new profile, folks, people. So there we go. Low life Xbox. Yeah, I remember. <coughs> I like it, Lucas. Remember as well where I kicked a boyfriend into a river. Oh, that's who it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So your personality ain't mate, you got a pretty enough face. Maybe you should be able to find a new guy at least. Yeah, there The is. only thing I remember was that I remember the, the look on that bitch's face. Yeah, when she's just like, Ugh, so angry. The scowl. The thing is, she's got the same, she's got the same face as like the, uh, the Burrasara girl that um, Kiri talks to. Because there's only so many like, women faces they have in the game. So. She is woman number four, basically. But yeah, because you do side stories. It's really good that if you do all the side stories, um, and then we walk outside and like 40 people want to join us. Oh god, no. <laughs> Everyone try to join your business. So here we go. So there you go. Teach you a valuable lesson about hard work. So you hire her. Yeah, look at that. With a face like that, I'm not remember your name. <laughs> you boss Eric. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> you bossed Eric Coon around your nose, Aranda. <laughs> oh, look. Imagine for not giving a fuck. Look at that face. He knows. He fucking. Do you know the best bit as well? Oh, she's not happy about that either. And she's a silver host. You could tell that smile, that look on her face is like, I'm going to smile because you're my boss now, but fuck you. But she's going to earn a shit. Again, she's going to earn a shit ton of money for like a very easy work. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's a better name than you deserve. You've got a problem with it, you can always quit. There we go. Thing is, yeah, I think this is a job that is potentially awful, like depending on clients. Yeah. But with a boss like Majima, like, I think oh, yeah. I feel a bit better about it. And not to mention as well, they know I'm going to make so much fucking money because I'm just going to sink oh, yeah. billions into this business. The one that gets me, though, is do you remember the side mission where we rescued... I know. I know, Lucas. <laughs> the side mission where we rescued that girl from the cult. Yes, yeah. And yeah. it's like, the whole point is, it's like the guy's like, oh, you've got like... Whoa, 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 Carl. Yeah, I know, it's hell. It's like, oh, No, no. Did what? you not see him? Oh, yeah, we'll go to him in a set of clown mat. I forgot. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Carl, you need to pay attention to this. Oh, yeah, the guy's over here kicking oh, we'll the shit out of someone. We'll go back to him in a sec. Um, yeah, do you know the girl you rescued from the cult? She, you know, it, even though that's a side mission, she doesn't turn up. Oh. I figured she would be, because the whole point, the whole reason that you go to rescue, like, that, that creepy guy wants to sleep with her, she's super pretty. And I thought, oh, she's going to be one of the people you recruit. And she never turned up. Maybe she's just running her own cult by now. We don't know. This guy's ready. Oh, God. So it's okay, Joe. <laughs> oh, this, this is the worst one to go yeah. like. It's this. You ready? <laughs> oh, that's like separating your spine. Yeah, he's just black parallel. <laughs> Do you know what that is? There? That's a Mortal Kombat like um, uh, X ray move. The fatal blows, yeah. Thanks. Do you remember when X ray moves were really cool and for some reason they just changed them to fatal blows? Well, the fatal blows work better X ray moves um, use the same meter that um, EX moves did. Oh, yeah, I understand that, like, the changing combos. of the meter. Well, they could have just still called them X-ray moves. Yeah. Like, they didn't have to change the name. Yeah, so you were looking at this dude, yeah? Uh, of course I was, Carl. Uh, this is where you spend your little points you went through in side missions. Yes, yeah. It's like completion points, but because I've already bought everything. So he's Bob. Do you want to have a good pronouncing that name? Uh, <laughs> Utsunomiya? Uh, that's pretty close, I guess. I, I wouldn't know, fuck it. And you buy stuff from him, but I've already got them out. Oh, uh, right, okay. So I just never thought about going to It's just it. the fact that... You walk past him so casually, and I was like, hang on a minute. <laughs> so hang on a sec, what the fuck? I guess that is kind of weird, because I, I just know he's there. Yeah, but I had no fucking clue. And that's just a little extra encouragement to... Oh my god. Oh yes. god. How much stuff I, I know what's a bit of extra encouragement. Uh, how do I get to my items? Here we go. Have you played this game, Carl? I have. I've, have I got enough to beat him up? God, Carl, he's got like double the amount of money you do. Oh, fuck it, let's go. Bollocks to it. If, if I lose, I'll just go get it back. I'll just go buy a shit ton. Oh no, we lost money to him last time. We That's did. what it was, yeah. That's why he's got an eye That's kept why he's got a shit ton of money. You said last time, make sure we go find Mr. Shape. Yeah, I can't remember that, but not people yeah, in yeah. the story, man. Yeah, no, I only remember it now that I've realised. Oh my god, like... look at his fucking health bars. He's got like six. Oh! oh god, Carl. I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh god, Carl. Oh god, 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 have we got enough items to beat this guy? Oh, no. Well, oh, God, that was so fucking brutal. That was like one second. <laughs> I've still got enough, though, to go buy some healing items. Then we'll go find him. Yeah. I'll get some healing items. Oh, God, imagine we're so injured. He keeps getting struck. He does. <laughs> he, he literally does. So where do I get healing items from? I don't need Don Quixote. I, I need... Uh, not the Ibisubu Pawn. Nationwide Convenience Store. 
There it is, the drugstore. So Get your drugs for less. Obviously, we don't really use the word porn store. The porn but shop. I remember, like, when I heard that for the first time. Oh, yeah. Really and I was like, what? They should do a double take every time. It's like um, a friend of mine from college worked at CEX. Oh, yeah. But she called it sex. Yeah. Because I'm, like, at, I'm, I'm working at sex time. Yeah, that's not like, what. I thought for ages she worked at like a porno sex shop because every time it's like, oh, you're hanging out tonight. Oh, no, sorry, I'm working at a sex shop. So I just thought she worked in a sex shop. <laughs> and she got really confused and I was like, oh. But she kept talking about like, people at work messing around with like, computers and stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah, I bought like a, a new game at like, work. Uh, the sex shop. It's like, they sell games? Of course they do. Have you never been in? It's like, no, I never felt the need to. Yeah. And she was really <laughs> confused about why I'd never been in. Uh, to clarify for anyone that's not British, I think it's just a British thing. It's like computing exchange, I think it stands yes. for. Like, C-E-X, but yeah, <laughs> the fact that so many people refer to it as like sex or the sex shop. Yeah. Me and this guy's right. <laughs> I can swear down. I love he's just having a, I having a drink I swear screen. down, Luke, I've seen you in that exact outfit and pose before after a night out. Just <laughs> stood in your underwear, just <laughs> drinking. Oh my God, what is going on here? What is this, in, what, what is this interaction? <laughs> But I get they're supposed to be looking at the stuff, but like, yeah. they just look like they're looking at this naked guy. Like, they're like ooh, yeah. Like they want him to be a third in, yeah. in a threesome or something. And she's just purely checking his crotch out as well. Just like, staring right mm. at it. It's like, hmm. It's a pretty beefy package right there, so. I didn't think you'd call me out for it, though, Carl. Yeah, I'm standing naked it. drinking yeah. a bottle. So, I like these, though. So you get all this stuff that's like, gives you all these weird effects. You never buy any of it, just buy Stamina Royale. Yeah. It, 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 it's the best healing item in the game. So doesn't it give you like health and heat? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't fill it up completely. There is an item that does that, but you can't buy it. You unlock it or get it from someone. Okay. Or fight or get given it as a random like encounter thing. It's like in Pokemon where you just can't buy PP Max for some reason. The best item. Why? Oh, he's gone. I guess he's just like a random dude who walks around. Well, he just lives in the sea, doesn't he, Carl? Yeah. It was just weird how we saw him outside just yeah. drinking an energy drink. Just chilling. So we'll head back and fans check and we'll first. Does that mean he only dances for us? I think so. Also, um, is there a little side mission here? Do you want to do it? It's very short. I guess so. Let's do it. So I remember this one being really good. Because I remember it freaking me out and I'm like, wait, what? I'm all about whatever that smell I is. I want in on that. So I'll be Majima, you be a um, new character who gets introduced. Meow. Meow. This place is pretty popular, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Must mean it's good stuff. Hey, excuse me. She's got your hair cut. She basically she, does. She's got your hair. It's the perfect character for you. She's got my. Whoa. She's got my jumper as well. Whoa. She seriously just cut in line. That ain't right. Hey, lady, no cuts. Get in line like a normal person. Huh? You weren't even in line. Oh, that's the middle-aged woman voice. All right. Come on, lady. You get your eyes checked lately. I'm standing in line, right here. I got one more eye than you, Sonny. If it ain't seeing things straight, it's you. Oh my god. Ugh, what's still an old hag? That's how, um, I'll be food around there. Hey, come on, you can't set this elsewhere. I'm trying to run a business here. He says not serving anybody. <laughs> See, you went and got us scolded. How embarrassing. If you weren't trying to cut, this never would have happened. Oh, so scary. This old bat's a real pain. What's my move here? Luke, what would you? I wouldn't let Move any. Move the fuck aside. Yeah, I, no one fucking cuts in line. I get so pissed off and be like, if people do it like five places in front of the line, that's on the person they're cutting in front of. But oh yeah. At, no one cuts in front of When it's of me. directly in front of you, that's your responsibility. It then. is. It's like, no, fuck you. Is that that or you buy me a drink and get inside? <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Well, you cut in line and you refuse to move. Pervert! Oh god, no. Oh Shit. god, she pulled it. She pulled the car. This bird is trying to grope me. Lucas, just question, would you grope that? Yeah, of course I would. Okay, I know. Right, grow, I want to touch you with a cattle prod. Help me! He's a pervert! Hold on, no. Stop making a damn scene. I really hope people in the other offices can hear this. Lucas, yeah, you'd be, you'd be <laughs> child passing by. Mama, what's a pervert? Don't point, hero Kun. You don't want anything to do with this horrible man. Hey, that ain't true! Hero Kun, your mama's got the wrong idea. Oh, God, no. No, hero Kun, no! He's gone. Oh, that treacherous old dingbat. Oh, and she just fucks oh. off. Look at that. Walks away like a badass. <laughs> oh, so here we go. So she's an obta Obatarian. So it's an old lady called an Obasan. It's like multiplied by a tank battalion. Hence <laughs> Obatarian. A battle axe. So essentially just a really just fucking on it old woman who just hates the world. Yeah. And I think we've all met those old women. Oh yeah, totally. 
Right, did I tell, I've told a story in like, a video before about like the old people I've been dealing with trying to go for swimming. Oh no, not really. Well, I, not that I know of. All right, well I've recently sat, picked up swimming, so good exercise. Like, yeah, yeah. It's very low impact. So anyone wants to like, get, and think of an exercise to do, um, swimming's the best one. It's low impact, good for your joints, uh, like all body. Also it's really fucking like good in terms of workout because it's cardio and it's working all of your body in one go. Basically, yes. And the problem is though, because I obviously work from home, I can go whenever I want, so I go early in the morning when no one else is there. The problem is though, Joel has that same idea, old people. Yeah. <laughs> and do you know what old people don't like? When they see young people doing stuff that they're doing. Yeah, no, just young people. Just in oh, way. okay, yeah. Or younger people, because they all look at me the same, like, presuming in their head, oh, why I have a job? Or why is he here? Oh, yeah, like, of course, That yeah. sort of way of, like, you shouldn't be here. And the first time, oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, well, I'll tell you story later. Um, let's remember that. Let's do the God of War thing. Stories for the boat. Stories for free <laughs> roam. And so, okay, I'll be... We'll pick want... up this story later. Yes, stories are for the boat. So do you want to be frantic man, or do you want to be his wife? Uh, well, I'll be the wife, of course. Okay, so I'll be frantic man. Oh, he took it that way. I see, I see. But no, that's not the right answer. Ugh, I don't get it. No, I'll just be like, imagine his internal voice. I love a spat in public. So, Lucas. Fuck it, I'll tell this story first. So, old people <laughs> are at my bloody gym, and they're in the swimming bath. And the annoying thing, like, I first went swimming. Mm -hmm. And, like I said, I've not been in years. Literally, I've not been submerged in water in <laughs> over three years. Like, I always get a shower because I've never had a flat that has a bath. Yes, yeah. So yeah. I get in, and the first thing I do is I climb it. And I look, okay, what we got here? And it's all separate into width, into little lanes. Yeah, yeah, like Meet the swimming lanes and stuff. And yeah. Slow lane, a couple of medium lanes, fast lanes, you know, for people who are just on it and just go backwards and forwards, like, constantly. And I go, I'll go for medium. I can swim. And also, yeah. there's a lane here where there's one guy in it. Oh, okay, And every yeah. other lane has multiple people in it. The thing is, as soon as I climbed into that, like you know the guy who's in that lane, he's like, no, this is my lane. Despite the fact, obviously, it's a public fucking swimming pool, and I pay just like everybody yeah, else to go in. of course, yeah. So I get in, and I'm treading water, it's getting used to the feel, being in the water. Old guy comes up swimming, and I'm against the wall in the part of the thing where, obviously, you go around and count clockwise. Or yeah, clockwise, yeah. depending. I'm in the part where he will not touch it, because he will hit the wall, and he can just swim, and then go back across the lane. He comes up, stops, and goes, if you're not going to swim, get into the slow lane. And I'm obviously a bit worried about this I'm like oh god what's the etiquette I don't know I've not been swimming yeah, yeah. in years and I look up at the lifeguard and give him that look of I can't show the audience but I can show you and I just went that uh? yeah it's like am I doing the right thing am I in the wrong here and the lifeguard responded with this look which was and Lucas you want to translate that look for the audience well there's nothing I'm going to do about it yeah it's like you didn't do anything wrong this guy's just being a dick yeah. it's the look to say I'm sorry but like, is, is that look when you you know when you're out with a friend and they're being an absolute asshole, and you just have to look at the guy and be like, I'm really sorry. Yeah, the look you give like, you know, a, a waiter in a restaurant when just one member of your party is being rude and you look yeah. at them and you just go, I'm really sorry. Like, it's just how they are. They just haven't worked in hospitality. Yeah, so what I thought you know, is I looked at this old man and went, you know what? Fuck this old man. I'm just here trying to get fit and he's here being a dickhead thinking he runs this lane just because he's old. Like, no, bollocks this. I got my Michael for Oh, wow. Well, let's pause this so I can beat you up. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, there's layers yeah. outside the game. <laughs> so I thought, I'm going to fucking Michael Phelps this shit. Also, I want to put some equipment on, so I'm like super like, uh, what, the thing with the most defense. You're not, Carl. That's a fair point, yes. You can't take them off. We've done it now. Okay, so I'll just get more health. And I said, I want to fucking Michael Phelps this shit. So I swim. And I'm not a great swimmer, but like, I've just got into the pool. And You've I'm got young. loads of energy. You're younger. Yeah. So I just go front crawl, but I do the front crawl like that guy, um, Joe Diego, in um, uh, Ice Age. Where it's like attack the water. Oh, yeah. like, I'm going in. I'm like incredible hulking my way through this water. I'm like, <laughs> Splash my way as I get in front of this guy. And when I get in front of him, I make sure I turn a little bit so I'm directly in front of him and kick the water as hard as I can. <laughs> so the entire way I get down to the other side, he's got water splashing in his face. Get to the other side, turn around and wait. And just wait for him to turn up. And just stare him out because I know he's not going to fucking say anything. Yeah. Because he's like, no, he's he just thinks, oh, what's he doing? And I wait for him to turn around. And then he, I see him turn. He tries to go that faster because he knows, like, oh, yeah. I'm going to try and outswim him. I'm like, no, no, this is not happening, old man. Your life is now water. <laughs> so I just do it again and overtake him again. Get to the other side and wait and just look him right in the fucking eye. And I look up at the lifeguard who's just like this, <laughs> like his proxy knows what I'm doing. <laughs> And this happened two or three more times, and the old guy went in a slow lane. Yeah, I'm not surprised. He's just, fuck you. Because if he just said, oh, I've been in multiple times previously, and like, yeah. there's always like, 
I, oh, are you going, um, Sonny? It's like, no, I'm just going to take a quick, a quick breathing. It's like, oh, okay then. And they go and I wait till they get halfway across the pool. Or I was go- yeah, and you try to avoid each other and just like be sensible. This dude, though, clearly thought, now I deserve this lane. What the- I am like, big dick motherfucker, get out of my lane. Yeah. Stop being a dickhead. I like. swim here. Yeah. It's like when you go into, like, you go shopping or something like that. Or you're in a rest. Have you ever been, oh, no, sorry, a better example is like a pub. Have you ever sat in a seat in a pub and just an old guy comes and goes, that's my seat? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Like, no, fuck you, it's not your seat. I was here first. And they think it's theirs. It's See, like, oh. I remember having that moment of when I was, um, like, 18, you know. So you could tell this time I'm going to beat uh, him to shake. Yeah, while well, we my, go for, while Carl gets the shit beaten out of him. Oh, yeah. So, like, we had our local pub, and just me and my mates, every Saturday night, do the same thing of, like, go to that pub, and we'd always get there early enough to get the same, like, booth. Yeah. And then we had that moment one day where we walked in, and there were other people sitting in the booth. But you know what we did? We went, okay, and sat somewhere fucking else. Yeah. It's not that moment of, like, friends where we keep the reserve sign on the table. Yeah. It's like, no, this is real life. Suck it up and go sit somewhere else. Don't be so out. I took off like nearly an entire health bar with that. He did, but he's got so many. He's, more I think he's like 17 health bars. It's fine though, because okay, he's got like Ultra Instinct. I need three bars, because three bars does more damage. So it's good. I've got, I'm so fucking terrified. I, I can tell. Do you have to? Imagine us never looked at this guy. We missed a shake. Oh, come on, can you see Mike Doge dodging? Get up, get up, get up. I'm sorry. This is get him in the arm. Ding. Oh, the dodge! <laughs> yeah, that's mine. Well, that was something that happened to me when I, I, the first time I went. And I felt so bad thinking, oh, God, have I done something wrong? Is this not the etiquette of what happened when you swim in? And this moment I saw the lifeguards go, no, you're just being a prick. Yep. Like, this old man is just an asshole. Have you ever had it, by the way, when you mention, like, um, oh, you know, they look at you like you're not at work or something? Have you ever had someone say that to you like why aren't you in a in a job yeah like i've had it before of like you know going shopping on like a monday day being like shouldn't you be at work and i was like well i'm working like later tonight how were nice like i work a night shift today and they're just like oh it's like what so it happened to my auntie once um like she works nights as a carer and do you know the show skipped oh god i remember the name well basically it's a show about people who don't work and are on benefits I remember fi- you telling me about this, that's where I know the they name, They filmed yeah. it in Scunthorpe, where I was born, you know, respect. And um, my auntie was asked if she wanted to be on the show, because she rock- she answered the door at 10 in the morning in a dressing gown. So I've got a fucking job, I just work nights. Yeah. Like, not everyone on this estate has got, like, no money. I was, like, on benefits. Yeah, and she exactly. was really offended by it. But then, um, didn't you say there's, like, on that show? Oh, that, that show. There were so many other people sitting there going, like... Oh yeah, uh, we're getting benefits and buying like these massive TVs and shit with it. Luke, I'm so scared. I... You're about to get your shit. No, I'm going to just quit this and try and get to the... Oh, here we go. I'm going to make sure I've got full health because I don't know how much damage this does. Oh! It's fine then. A good amount. Now that show was amazing. I think I've talked about it before where there's a guy on it who uh, like the central character, I suppose, like lives in some form. And his whole thing is, I've been on benefits for 20 years and this is an actual like documentary this is a not. documentary it's not like you know yeah. i think it did get accusations about oh, it's like you know basically set up some stuff and you basically try to demonize the poor but like this guy was amazing because he's on national fucking tv like that's been watched by millions of people mm-hmm. across the like you know the country and he goes on national tv and tells the most brazen lies i've ever seen <laughs> well he goes on they ask him like oh i've been on benefits for 20 years but it's alright, I've worked at the steel factory for like 15 years, which would mean he's at least 50 odd years old. Yes, because, because he wouldn't like, have started working until he was, what, 16? Eight, at least, yeah. And uh, my mum watched it on the day the episode aired and went, he's lying, why am I went to school with him? <laughs> like, and he told this on national TV, expecting no one to call him on it. And like, obviously they did research and did you ever work at the steel factory? No. <laughs> like, he never fucking... Oh god, Carl, it's coming. Oh! Oh no! He took all my health! Oh, no. Because he was in Super Saiyan mode! Oh. I thought, oh, I'll take it, and then recover my health after- Oh my god! Oh god, Carl. Lucas, that was everything? This episode has just got to be like the time that Majima got his, like, everything. Oh my god, it took everything! That was ev- I, I'm sorry, we can't do it with Cybish, I need to go get my money back. Carl goes broke. Because I think there's only so many times you can do that for, he just fucks off and keeps it. Oh god, where is he? How do I zoom out? Uh, Carl's is- going panic mode now. <laughs> We need to wait. I think if we get into a regular fight, and then he'll t- Oh my god. God, Carl. That is terrifying. Come on. 
Right, get into one fight and should spawn. Uh, you guys, I need to get my fucking money back right now. I, I don't that know was, what you're going to do. It's because I just made a mistake. It's, it's that simple. I was distracted talking about this amazing story about my hometown. Fuck you. What? That's it. Wrap the ass. Boom! You know, that show was... I loved it when that guy went on TV and just said that. <laughs> live... Like, not live, but like national television just says, oh, I worked at the Steel Factory for 15 years. I, I love the moments, though, where you see it where people just... He's not doing that, is it? Like, openly admit to, like, complete fraud. And it's like, oh, yeah, well, we're claiming on this, this, and this. It's all lies. Yeah, they said it on TV, yeah. And they say it on TV. Oh, he's asleep. Oh, my God. So here's the thing you can do. You can steal the money. But you have to, like, what he... Trying to wake him up. The thing is, though, I want to wake him up because I'm pissed off now. And I'm going to wait. Where, what weapon have I got that does the most fucking damage? Like, which one does the most goddamn damage? I want a 280 on the golden hammer. But well, that's going to be unwieldy. It is. Oh, no, it's got a zero on it as well. Uh, let's go for the masterwork dagger. Because, like, Majima's whole thing is like the dagger. But, yeah, uh, just saying shit like that on TV is amazing. And the other one that got me is that in that same show, so many people got like in trouble. Because obviously you get, not surprised. You get, you get paid for being on a TV show and none of them declared their earnings. Of course Despite not. the yeah. fact they're on t national fucking TV. Like, but these are also the people that on national TV admit to like fraud and shit. And it's like, do you think that like, this is an ongoing thing. Do you think you're not gonna get called out on it when you admit it on national TV? So, oh my God, he's got more help. He's trained while he's asleep. I don't want him behind that. I don't want a guy behind that pillar. Alright, uh, stab him. I'm sorry. Stab, 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 stab. Oh shit, I've just remembered as well, like, um, you hit me do less and less damage every time, don't you? Oh, I uh, mean, every new battle. That's, yeah, yeah, that's but why I mean, I... so like, it takes a lot then. Yeah. But by the end of the fight. Yeah, they'll be doing that. That's why it's always better to go for like, the three bar heat move straight away. Yeah, whip my knife out. The thing is, though, I've got all that stuff on that gives me extra money. Oh, yeah. True. I should probably do. I should probably equip all those items like any extra money so I get like $9 billion. But also, do you not want like defense? Defense? What have we got as my equipment? Surely got, we've got to keep the shoes on, though. That's the best. If, no, it gives you more money. That, oh. one, that one gives uh, you more right, money. Okay, yeah. uh, I think there's one thing you can but have. Was the socks, was there? Also, I didn't have the uh, encounter finder equipped, which is why I couldn't find it. Uh, remain calm at all times. Uh, equipment searches. Uh, no, they don't do anything in combat. Uh, uh, the wallet. Okay. I think, to be fair, I've got the best, most. Oh, here we go. Uh, improves the quality of item. No, no. Well, I've got the best equipment. Yeah, okay, cool. And I've got it down like to his third life bar. I just like need to make sure I stay fucking on it. Yeah. And make sure I've got full health. We need to he... keep Carl a little bit less distracted this time. It's just when he goes into Super Saiyan mode, make sure I always have full health. It's, it's one of those of like, oh yeah, you know, Carl knows the game enough to have a little chat while he's playing. But... When he's just been taken down like three times on the I'd, pounce I'd by the I want to beat him. And to clarify, I know that he's only got beat twice now. <laughs> but Fuck that him. was coming off the back of him losing his arm. Huh? It's just with uh, Majima, I'm not as good. Because he doesn't have like... He the... doesn't have the raw power. It's just the thing with Kiri where you can counter his attacks. Yes. That yeah, style yeah. is basically unbeatable when you get it like max level. Please don't rank up. Please don't go all Prince during the fight. Now, this will be Jiro. Look at him. He's even, he's even wearing red. Like, remember the Pride Troopers right here. No, but his uniform would have been damaged. But it's a tank top. What? Uh, Maybe that's why he's sorry. Isn't it? Oh, God. To be fair, you have, like, cut right through his tank top. Yeah. Just the meow. <laughs> Shit. Like, weapons you fight so poorly with. Does, um. Does. Like, do your heat moves. Fight a different weapon, do more damage. If you change weapon halfway through, that's fine out. So if you change like nunchakus now, Let's will do they start it. doing more damage? That's fine out. Uh, the radishes. Get my radishes on. I did not like how long that no. took. No, no, I did. <laughs> no, same. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. I did not like how much that, that was so bad. <laughs> he just stood there twirling. Oh. So I was well, gonna like... say that could have been like a good abuse of your weapons, but nah. as long as I've got the weapons, I'm fine. It's clever enough. That's the thing. And you can always switch to the baseball bat if I really need to. Yes, of course, yeah. It's just though when you're hitting him on the head with a baseball bat like three times, <laughs> and it doesn't kill him. No. Shit! 
Is oh. that something you do that? Because I ran out of heat. Oh shit, no. no, no. I was so scared. And you can get to like brawler style to and you don't, don't want to oh. Like... oh! That was so oh, fucking God. I'm so oh, just, he's well, done I it. I want you to win. Luke's he's done it. Oh, he's gone Super Saiyan. It's gonna turn into a gold blue Do you know what? It's not worth it. It's not worth like this stress. <laughs> right, so do a move. Do a move. Perfect. Just radish. God, those non trackers take a long time yeah. to come out. That's why it's so fucking yeah. scary. <laughs> We're switching there we go, level three. Oh, come on. I think he's still got two more health bars. Yeah, he does. He's still yeah. got like two more. It's like... Okay, has he not got three more? No. I think the orange one's the last one. Oh, okay. I thought it would have been like a red health bar when No, I don't think so. We'll find out. We've never fought an enemy this strong before. <laughs> I don't want to switch to dan dance style. It's fucking terrible. Yeah, not, not the time. It's not the time to do that. Just use it. Use it. <laughs> hey, I'll give it a go. I'll try it. Oh no, I meant when it's like, you have full health. It's give like, it no, we just want the heat. Well, you get this. You, the one, the closest thing Majima has to a counter. When your guard gets broken in that style, uh, you right, get a little okay. counter. But the problem is, you can also do that grab attack, which looks yeah. almost the same, which will kill me in one hit. But if he keeps doing that, I'm fine. I'm so, scared. I'm so, I'm so fucking scared of this man. Oh, okay. okay, that is pretty useful. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, but the problem is, it doesn't do enough damage to justify the risk. Like, I'm oh yeah. Okay, Carl. Just yeah. Right, last health bar. Just spend it all. Uh, I need a weapon that doesn't take as long to get out. Uh, the knacker. The bag. No, the spat tyco sticks. Oh, I forget. She can hit like thirty oh, times. Oh shit! It. Yeah. Cool. They hit multiple times. Here we go. As long as I keep doing this, I can keep doing it. <laughs> Like you just keep hitting oh until he loses health. How tough is this man? He's so Lucas. Oh my god. It's okay though, because I've still got heat. Get oh, okay, cool. Get up. Oh god! No, oh. no, the stomp's gonna kill me. Oh god. I need to equip everything that gives me health. Uh, I need whatever gives me more defense than oh, two. No. Is there can't. anything I have? You can't do it. No way. Save from the brink of death, but it only works once. Okay. So if he kills me, it'll bring me back. Oh my god. I'm keeping this on. I'm not moving. <laughs> oh my god. The cats will have to take a, a brief. Oh god, I missed. Fuck. God damn it, cat. Oh, let's keep hitting him. Just keep doing it. He doesn't use any heat either, though, so you can just keep doing it, which is why these things are ace. The problem is you've got to wait a few seconds for the heat to come back in. Ah, okay. Should have him now. I think I've got him. Should have him. Come on. You come can on. Do it. Come on, Mashima. Come on. Come on. Come on! Yeah! yeah! That was so... 10 billion! That was the tensest I have ever been. Look at it!